Rola Ayub just delivered a baby girl at Catholic Medical Center in Manchester. I'm actually just very grateful that I am here and they're um, amazing, even through my prenatal care. Rola is recovering from a heroin addiction. She overdosed in November 2015 and was revived by Narcan. She's now on a methadone maintenance program to help keep her clean. I could have been out there um, doing drugs, shooting dope, and it's, I could have been dead, and she would have been dead too. I'm just grateful that I did make the decision to turn my life around. Right now, staff in the special care nursery are keeping a close eye on baby Andrea's behavior to make sure she has no withdrawal symptoms from the methadone. Sometimes we'll see muscle tightness, um, jitteriness, difficulty feeding. 5% of the babies born at CMC have been exposed to opiates. We've seen about 50 babies this past year. She says in some cases, oral morphine is given to the baby to help ease withdrawal, but the majority are treated with human touch. Holding, rocking, a lot of skin to skin, really anything to help soothe them get over that period of time. CMC allows families to live at the hospital with their babies while they're being observed, which lasts for at least five days. The data that is available so far is pretty optimistic that the babies have a chance of having pretty normal life long term. And the hospital recently launched a program called Roots for Recovery, which helps coordinate care for moms before they deliver and after they leave. If we can start early and get them in the right track and use all the resources that we have, then we're hoping for better outcomes. There are places like Hope on Haven Hill in Rochester that help moms dealing with recovery after they leave the hospital, but staff at CMC say the state could use more facilities just like that one. Live in studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.